<clears throat> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Please Kill Me Please and today's date is the 24th of February year 2022, okay? So as usual, we're gonna go through the events of the week um, which is the treasure box event, alright? They are dropping uh, Zhao Yun over here This is basically how you're gonna get all your unlocking mechanisms um, There's also a new hero coming in about 5 hours time and we're gonna do a first impression of her later on and this is the so-called event of the week it's considered a minor event which the main prize is Mr. Baichi over here which is uh, not a bad hero to get alright um, going on is the smithy event this is the standard stuff I think they upgraded the limit to 2 uh, it used to be 1 before so that's a little changes over here or adjustments and this is the Empress Vault, alright, uh, so they drop this box over here and drop this 4000 gem box, jade shell kind of box, both which is kind of value for money or jade shells, it's pretty worth it, alright. And for the next week's events, is definitely the event summon for the new hero. Uh, we're gonna do the first impression later on, but um, let's go through the other events first, which is also the Lantern Festival. Okay, this is how you're gonna obtain marbles, purchase with jade shell, obtainable 30 times, each of it is about 100 jade shells, so we're gonna do this later on. And there is also this lantern exchange thing, which I guess you have to complete this in order to do this, alright? And moving on, yep, that's, that's no more free to play events of the week, that's a pay to win kind of thing. Um, so let's just complete the events of the week. It's uh, the end of the week guys uh, Remember to do all your weekly quests It's really important um, Yep, we are done with the equipment stuff um, Martial art um, If you guys do not know this is how my current team looks like um, Yep, it looks like this right now. I mean it's kind of updated. I, I, I tried to make another, uh, what do you call that guy? This guy. QSV. Yeah, I tried to make another QSV, but I did some miscounting <laughs> and I ended up with uh, E3 only, which is not very good. Uh, we're gonna do this later on, it takes too much time. So bam, we're done with the uh, daily quest. <clears throat> alright, alright. So, um, first things first, we're gonna click this hero unveiling to get the easy rewards, I would say. So, we're gonna get stuff like this when you complete this unveiling puzzle. 5 sage decrease, 10 scrolls, easy stuff. And I guess we're gonna do the hero unveiling first, alright? I guess. This is the most important part of the video for you guys. Um, okay, the name is Xie Tao Yun. All right, X D Y. All right. Um, she's a scholar. All right. Her base stats is kind of normal. Her speed is, I would say, rather slow. But I mean, she's a scholar. The fastest guys are like the assassins. Um, the top speed of the game usually are assassins, which I think it's this guy, Yao Li. Right, I, I'm pretty sure it's Yao Li. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but let's go through her skills. All right, uh, we're gonna start with the last one, Noble Scholar. Okay, it's a stat stuff. HP thirty, block forty five, crit resist twenty, and speed by thirty. Um, moving on, it's Ode to Mount Tai. Okay, basic attack. Targets one random enemy. Priority gives to uncontrolled targets. We have forty percent chance to stun the target for two rounds. All right. From this thing, I I do believe that uh, she's kind of a, a what you call crop control kind of hero. Um, she does stun. Okay. Uh, eternal dignity at the beginning of each round. X D Y gains six layers of pride at the end of each round. She gains three layers of pride. Alright, so so she kinds of snowball in this sense. Uh, provide 10 attack, increase the healing effect received. 5. 
if when pride being consumed each layer of which restores her 10% of the max HP and increases the damage reduction by 8% for two rounds when hit by DOT effects consumes one layer of pride if she has no less than one layer of pride and transfers the DOT effect to the attacker it's a bit confusing um, but we'll have to try her out when she comes out tomorrow all right um, this is her active skill, launches two attacks continuously, which is pretty cool in the sense that the unbending wheel, if you know what I mean, when you hit people, they reach 0 HP, the, the sh automatic shield comes out, so if you launch two attacks continuously, you might kill the opponent. Alright, priority to gifts to uncontrolled targets, dealing 850% of attack damage, which is sort of high, with 50% chance to stun the target for 2 rounds. If self has no less than 3 layers of pride, before the attack hits, the target consumes 3 self, 3 layers of pride and gets this attack enhanced, increase the stun chance to 100% and ignores the target's all control resistance from the second destiny tree by 20% and control resist hero's basic attribute by 100%. Alright, um, I'm not gonna do all the maths, but I'm pretty sure she stuns a lot of people. One random target enemy. Alright, so 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 maybe it's not an AoE target skill, but whoever she hits most probably gets stunned. Okay? Um so basically she's a crowd control kind of hero. She does heal a bit, right? Um and she does actually snowball. I mean she doesn't heal, right? she just increase her healing effects received or oh, she does heal when pride being consumed each layers of restores her 10% of max HP so uh, most probably you want to build her with a speed kind of HP kind of uh, uh, stats because I mean definitely she needs some speed in order for her to stun other targets first and you know since she heals based on max HP most probably you want her to you know max out HP so that she kinds of heals more so um, she heals she snowballs she stuns basically that's the summary of the new hero XDY all right so um, we're gonna take a break right now and we're gonna go into the other parts of the video <clears throat> all right so i'm guessing that we're gonna do this first what's this quick claim all right consume five unlocking mechanisms consume 50 marbles break 10 jackpot ice cubes all right um so let's do this first all right since we have to do this then we do that then we do the last one um this part's gonna pre gonna be pretty boring i guess it's just me clicking and clicking clicking for 34 times and let's just see what we what type of rewards we're gonna get um they should do a quick smash of this stuff honestly say because it, it's kind of really no brainer doesn't use your brain at all you're just gonna keep clicking stuff all the way so normally 34 Unlocking mechanisms is kind of the average what we get during uh, unlocking mechanism events. It's gonna be in the big hole right now. Alright, um, definitely 10 Azure Horns or 20. Is there a 20 scroll? No, 10 scrolls will be the best. The max, I would say. <clears throat> scrolls. Scrolls are good. Scrolls are good allows you to get the newest heroes if you are you know trying to advance in the game faster because new heroes are always stronger than old heroes if you ask me yeah that's the only reason the pay to win players are gonna like pay money to get the new heroes so that's why I come to a conclusion that new heroes are definitely much better than old heroes yeah Unless there's some, uh, you know, special case scenarios that some older heroes are pretty good. 
but normally the light and dark heroes are one of the best heroes because they are much rarer. Yeah. So we are down to 20 unlocking mechanisms right now. We have been into the big hole. This is the big hole, alright? This is the third time, I guess. One, two, yeah, this is the third time. Okay, forsage decrease. I thought I got the 10 Azure Horns, which is pretty rare, I would say. Because uh, the Azure Horns is one of the most valuable resources in the whole game right now. I mean, since day one, I would say. It allows you to choose any hero that you want. Or, even better, you could exchange the Azure Horns for pay to win artifacts, which is, I guess, the whole point of the game if you are a free to play player. Oh, almost hit the 10 scrolls. But we got the artifact. I'm going as fast as I can, guys. One scroll, nice. Eleven more. Hmm. I guess this is about time we enter. Nope. Then this shall be it. We're gonna enter the big hole this time. Bam. All right. Eight more to go. Chowin? Oh. I mean, I already have a 15 star Chowin. I'm not gonna make a second copy. I mean, second 15 stars Chowin. It's not working out. Chowin used to be one of the strongest heroes when it first came out. But right now, he's still not fodder level. But he's not tier 1, definitely. Currently, if you ask me, I think tier 1 is the QSB. Mm, maybe Changxi too? Except Changxi is a little... Not weak, but uh, she's not tanky. She heals and stuff like that. She deals tons of damage, but... Alright, we got the 10 scrolls. Which is really really good, if you ask me. Ah. Okay, last one. And we are done with this unlocking mechanism thing. Alright. We're gonna take a break right now. We're gonna come back later to do the Lantern Festival. <clears throat> Alright. Going into the Lantern Festival. Quick claim. See? They introduced this quick claim thing. Consume 50 marbles and break 10 jackpot ice cubes. What's this? What's this? I don't really get it. Is it random clicking again? I can't click this. Wait, wait, wait. Jackpot ice cube rewards. We're gonna get this. Common ice cube rewards. We're gonna get this. Okay, gold rewards. We're gonna get stuff like this. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna reach there because we are free to play. Mm, most probably around the first level or first and half. That's usually Is this a no brainer kind of thing again? Next jackpot. So we have F73. We, we, we're gonna hit 60. How do we actually... Ah. Alright. So we're gonna... Keep clicking until we reach... Something like... 
，哎。Every ten, I don't get it. I really don't. I mean, it's the first time they introduce this kind of stuff, right? Ice hammer vertical. I'm guessing that you, because right now every time we click, we clear one box. So the horizontal one must be clearing the whole line and stuff like that. I'm, I'm guessing. When you reach 50, then we're gonna get one horizontal thing, I guess. So we had 44, 45, 46. Alright, we reach 50, right? Quick claim. So we have a horizontal, break the whole row of which the chosen ice cube is in 6 in total so do I click it right now? right? bam! I guess that's how you really use it we got a bunch of stuff I hope I'm this the vertical one. Um which is not as worth as the horizontal one just now. When should I use this? Right down to the last twenty uh, what do we call this? Snowball thing. Um, Four seventy of this stuff, which whoa, it gives us a QSB, which I needed originally, or we could exchange some of this stuff. Whoa, this stuff is pretty tempting to buy. It's the Awakening Crystal. Um, exchange ends in twenty nine hours. Obtaining ends in five hours. Um, 120 of this, we're gonna get this. Um, hold on a moment, we'll be right back. Alright, we are back. Well, um, after thinking about some time, we're definitely not gonna hit 120 or 160. Um, we need a bit more to get another vertical need to consume up 14 of this stuff next jackpot is gonna give me 10 of this stuff so i don't think it's worth it to you know like buy using gems even though i have a lot of jade shells it's gonna cost me 3k should i nah i don't think it's worth it i'm gonna get a bunch of this stuff too anyway I'm trying to get the QSB, which means I have 70 of them left, which means... Hmm. 
alright. Um, I'm not too sure actually. I really am not too sure. If I buy 30 of this, we'll hit 100. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna buy. But we're not gonna buy 30. Maybe we'll buy 15 first. Alright. We're gonna buy 15 of this stuff. And see how it goes. This is a vertical one. Which is... Hmm. I would definitely prefer the horizontal one. Makes more sense. Alright, we got another something left. Okay, we're gonna use the... Vertical one to clear this tree stuff. Alright, um... Really? Hmm. We'll buy one more. Alright. We got the... This reward. 100k. Right? It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, we are left with one of these. I'm not too sure. Let's check this out. Um, nope. 489, huh? Um, let's just go with this. Alright. I guess we're done. I'm pretty happy with what that turned out. Uh, we hit some nice rewards over here. 494. We're gonna exchange one of these and nine of this other stuff. Right? Yep. Um, I guess that's all for this week's video, I guess. Um, remember, as usual, to clear a weekly quest. Let's just see what we got here. Um, orange fragment, nothing much. So, yeah, guys, um, if you do like content like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next week's video. Ciao for now. Bye bye.